Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Hud where we give you the latest esports news. I'm Sierra. And I'm Dom. In our coverage today, we're going to be covering a Gameworks Smash tournament with some news there, the MSI team preview in League of Legends, Overwatch League's Week 3 and Thursday schedule, then a Super Smash Bros. update that everyone has been waiting for with Stage Builder 3.0 and Joker and even more. We're looking into PUBG, StarCraft's new global, uh, global tournament, Super Tournament, PlayStation 5, news about The Last of Us Part 2, and a recent follow-up to the Notre Dame fire that was, involves a special report involving a video game, Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, if you've been living under a rock for a few years, we're also going to hit you with a little report on a big video game legend hanging up his coat. Starting off our day, Gameworks Inc. announced that it will hold a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament across its seven United States venues. With a 25k in prize up for grabs, wow that's quite a bit of money. Mm. This includes both cash and Alienware hardware, including an Area 51 M gaming laptop which starts at $2,150. Although the tournament winner will walk away with 10k in cash, the grand finals will be broadcast via Twitch. The Gameworks Showdown begins with local qualifier rounds at each of the venues on May 12th with a gradual build up to the regional qualifiers at each location on June 9th. Each Gameworks will crown a regional champion and they will all meet for the grand finals at Gameworks Las Vegas on June 29th. Additionally, that location will hold a last chance qualifier for the night before the finals to add an eighth competitor. Mm, somebody could sneak in at the last minute. Now turning our attentions towards League of Legends, the conclusion of the LEC and LCS finals have given us a clearer picture of the current groups that might be going to MSI starting in May. Uh, the competition is starting to fill and hopefully it'll heat up in some pretty exciting ways. So for the end of the split uh, and heading into MSI, we've confirmed currently 19 teams heading into this competition with four being seated into the group stage already and three already being set to take on the play-in stages and knockout stages. In this invitational, we're going to be seeing Team Liquid, SKT, G2 Esports, Flash Wolves, and we're still looking to see who that final team is going to be from the LPL, but all eyes are still looking towards current reigning and world champions Invictus Gaming. All of these teams will compete in different intervals, but the show will be held in four different Chinese venues across the month of May. So far, the only regions that have not crowned their champions, again, that's the LML, the LMS, LLA, and the LST. We're eagerly awaiting those last four teams and are waiting to see uh, all of those teams in action at MSI as the patch itself also did drop as well earlier this morning. So the current patch that's just hit live servers in North America and everywhere else is going to be the MSI patch and it already looks like we've got some kale nerfs, we've got a few other champion tweaks as well. We'll have to see how it actually affects uh, the play styles that people take into MSI. Very true. In real life news, the Cathedral of Notre Dame suffered a tragic fire earlier this week. As of the time of this writing, all signs point to it being, of course, an accident. And luckily, many of the religious statues within the cathedral have been removed earlier this month due to the restoration that was underway. While in the video game industry, we cannot express our sorrow enough for the years of history damaged by this, we can offer our condolences via a virtual reconstruction effort to rebuild this cathedral. You heard us correctly, a video game is going to be used to help aid the reconstruction of the cathedral. Assassin's Creed Unity is a game in which the main character relives the historically accurate past of an assassin. This particular game was set in Paris and featured an accurate two-scale model of both the exterior and interior of the Notre Dame. While certain liberties have been taken for the nature of the game, Caroline Mirosi, the artist and designer of the in-game version of the cathedral, has said that she spent literally years fussing over the details of the building. She goes on to mention pouring over the photographs to get the architecture just right, having worked with the texture artist to make sure that even every brick was exactly where it should be. While it may be years before the cathedral will approach its majesty once again, perhaps this particularly accurate model and image map can be used in the efforts to come, just as long as there aren't any Templars or assassins scaling the building when the reconstruction is well, done. Well, actually that does sound kind of neat. So I think we'll leave the assassins and Templars choice up to the architects so they can decide how to build the rest of the cathedral.
Now turning back towards StarCraft, the GSL Code S Finals wrapped up this past weekend, which means it's now time for the GSL Super Tournament to kick off starting tomorrow, April 18th, and running until the 21st. $26,000 are on the line, and with Maru and Classic now seeding into complete opposite sides of the bracket, we should expect a huge clash of talent across these games, all the way up to the Grand Final. And while StarCraft may not have as huge a viewer base as a game as, like, Fortnite, let's just say one of our eSports channel hosts will be keeping their eyes on the event for for the duration of this coming week. Looking at you, Sierra. Oh, well, oh boy. The PUBG Face It Global Summit kicked off yesterday and the competition heated up as expected. The tournament sees 24 teams split into three groups and we'll see six matches per group each day. Yesterday's featured a group versus A group versus B group. Team Entz, freshly qualified off of a huge league advantage in the European region, ended up placing 11th at the end of the day, whereas Team Shoot to Kill and Team 4 Angry Men ended up in 1st and 2nd respectively, both with two first place finishes apiece out of the six total games played. Overall, Shoot to Kill had more points by nature of their outrageous number of kills, with a total of 50 points across all six games, sorry, 50 kills, plus their stellar placement points. For reference, only three of the 16 teams cleared the 50 point total mark in all six games, including their kills and placements. However, through the course of the day, a handful of teams had some good pop-off performances, but ultimately, consistency is what wins the most in battle royales, and SK uh, Shoot to Kill had that consistency in spades. Moving on over to the Overwatch League, week three of stage two begins tomorrow, and the schedule is looking promising and a little exciting. With week three on, on well underway now, everyone in the league is looking to start racking up those wins for the stage two playoffs coming in just three weeks. That may seem like a long time from now, but every second counts. The matches taking place will be a prediction on how things will turn out for the rest of the season, especially for those top teams. The matches taking place tonight will feature the New York Excelsiors taking on the Philadelphia Fusion. Next up, the San Francisco Shock will face off against the Toronto Defiant, and then Florida Mayhem look to get their feet wet against the Los Angeles Gladiators and close out the door going into Friday. Vancouver Titans and high momentum Dallas Fuel will take the stage and the matches start tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, moving on to Sony's next console, the PlayStation 5 has been unofficially announced. Recently, we've heard some interesting information on specs for the console and some backwards compatibility news. In a recent conversation with Wired, it was revealed that the next generation Sony console looks like it might be one mother of a machine. So far, it's been mentioned to have a solid state drive that can operate up to 18 times faster than current hard drives, backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 4, and the recent news has sort of split fans apart, with some of them on Reddit voicing their concerns that this could just be a super upgraded, potentially overpriced PlayStation 4 with the lack of backwards compatibility towards PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2. It's still very early to tell the concerns for this console, and we'll see how it shakes out as time goes on, because again, this is something that has only just been discussed. I mean, they're even talking about putting ray tracing in the machine itself, which only super high-end gaming computers can have right now, but we'll see as time goes on. And speaking of Sony, one of the exclusive powerhouse games has officially finished their set on shooting. Yes. Just over 24 hours ago, the beloved video game company Naughty Dog, who have been working hard with the new installment of their game, The Last of Us, has finally reached a milestone in production. The director, Neil Drunkman, tweeted... <laughs> Neil Druckmann. A Druckmann, not a drunk man. <laughs> drunk. Druckmann tweeted out a photo with the words, just this scene, and on the picture you can clearly see the end and a cut to black transition written on the paper. This has sparked up fan hype once again after long-term silence from the company. It's nice to finally see the progress of a beloved game. Yeah, I have been waiting for Last of Us 2 for years, and now it might be coming out soon-ish. But hey, speaking of updates for a beloved franchise, I'm looking at the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Spring Patch 3.0. A lot of new changes are coming 
coming out. Joker has been revealed as of last night. You can watch the clip right now, and he will be releasing later today. In addition to that, we're also getting the stage builder feature returning alongside drawing. Now, the, this update is completely free outside of the new character of Joker. It brings that stage builder. It also brings in a video editor, so you can cut and build your own montages, uh, montages when you're taking the stocks of your opponents. Now, Joker, he looks to be very accurate towards his persona character. What makes him interesting is the use of his persona are seen, which enhances his ability when you counter enough hits or are down and behind long enough. Now, a full breakdown video is available in the description if you want more info on Joker and on the new modes. But now, Sierra, are you a fan of Nintendo at all? Oh, I definitely had a Game Boy. Okay, yeah. well good, because just this Monday, a certain someone who's been in the hearts and minds of children back in the day and is still, uh, has now officially hung up his coat. If you've been living under a rock, then that person is Reggie Fisame. Now, Reggie is an icon in the video gaming industry, from his first words at E3 to the iconic My Body Is Ready meme. He became one of the most powerful leaders in the video game industry, and this last month, he announced his retirement from the president of Nintendo of America and has chosen his successor, one Doug Bowser, who hopefully will finally get that Mario. Reggie embraced what the gaming community was all about. He made his way into everyone's heart, a hardworking man looking just to put smiles on everyone's faces. On Monday, it was official that Reggie was packing up to move on with his life and spend more time with his family. It was a heartwarming and emotional send-off as we say goodbye to a man who carved an amazing legacy. And Reggie, if you are watching this by any chance, on behalf of everyone in the eSports channel, we wish you the best and the longest retirement and safe wishes for you and your family. Nintendo is in good hands, and for the future, in your own words, our bodies are ready. Thank you, Reggie, for everything. Definitely. Thank you so much. A proper send-off to a man with a touch who touched a lot of hearts, but unfortunately, that's it for today's Daily HUD. Yeah, just don't, like that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates in eSports news. Once again, I, I think I'm Sierra. Yeah, I reckon I'm dumb. But hey, <laughs> on behalf of myself and everyone else who's uh, part of the eSports channel, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you. Good night, and GG. GG.